Good morning, thanks for joining us this Thursday the 9th of June. I'm Paulina Peters, a market analyst with Bell Direct. Well, the local market managed to gain 0.4% yesterday, regaining some ground after Tuesday's interest rate rise slump. The market was up nearly 1% at one point, supported by tech, mining and oil stocks. However, it ran out of steam by the end of the session as all four of the big banks raised their mortgage interest rates in line with the RBA. So the financial sector was the only sector to post a loss, down at 2.9%. Looking at the ASX200 leaderboard, private toll road developer and operator Atlas Arteria, ALX, jumped 16% as news came in that IFM had snapped up a 15% holding in the company and that the infrastructure fund might put forward a takeover bid in the future. This comes amid hot competition for long-term infrastructure assets. Also performing well was Borrell, BLD, up 15%, after the building products company announced it had appointed its new CEO. Meanwhile, banking stocks tumbled. Bendigo and Adelaide Bank, BEN, Westpac and Commonwealth Bank fell the most, all down over 4%, likely driven by concerns that an aggressive tightening cycle by the RBA could create challenges for the banking sector. So we saw both CBA and Westpac at the top of the most traded stocks by Bell Direct clients yesterday. Also highly traded was the Beta Shares Geared Australian Equity Hedge Fund ETF, Woodside Energy Group WDS and Pacific Smiles Group PSQ. Let's have a look now at what happened over in the US. Well, all three benchmarks were in the red. The Dow Jones down 0.8%, the S&P 500 down 1.1%, and the Nasdaq down 0.7%. And this comes as investors monitor signs of a potential economic slowdown. Also, action in the bond market may have hurt investor sentiment, as the 10-year Treasury yield jumped back above 3%. Now in terms of what to watch today, our local market is set to 4.76% this morning if you go by the SPY futures. Keep an eye on BHP and Rio Tinto as both of its US listed shares tumbled overnight. So today could be a tough day for the mining sector. In commodities, oil jumped to a 13 week high on rising US gasoline demand. The WTI crude oil price is up 2.5% to US $122 a barrel and the Brent crude oil price is up 2.7% to US $124 a barrel. The gold price strengthened as worries over economic growth boosted the safe havens appeal ahead of the US inflation data due out on Friday. And the spot iron ore price is trading 1% higher at US $146 a tonne. Let's end with some trading ideas for your consideration. Bell Potter have maintained its hold rating on Platinum Asset Management, PTM, with a price target of $1.70. While May's funds under management, or FUM, figures were not bad, Bell Potter find that there is still little to be positive about. FUM has fallen 16.6% year to date, and at this stage, Bell Potter expects average FUM for the year ending June 2022 to be 21.5 billion, which is 7.4% lower than in 2021. Now at its current share price of $1.74, this implies negative 2% share price growth in a year. Finally, Trading Central has a bullish signal on TPG Telecom, TPG indicating that the stock price may rise from the close of $6.07 to the range of $6.80 to $7 in the next 94 days, according to standard principles of technical analysis. And that is all for today. I'm Paulina Peters with Bell Direct. Have a lovely day and happy trading.